Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to do the new trend that's called dolphin skin. Do you remember glass skin? This is similar. This is still going to give you that glow. I wouldn't say that I'm, I'm not going to be doing this every day because girl, I live in Florida. Every day is dolphin skin. Okay. There's humidity. I have oily skin and I can pretty much naturally get it. But I just thought it'd be fun to play around with makeup and just do some of the different things that I've seen. I'm gonna talk about some different ways you can do it. So this would be something if you were going to, to an event, which honey, we're, nobody's going to events right now, but if you were, this would be something that you could wear to go to an event. So I'm gonna be, this is all about liquids. So I'm not gonna be using any powders or anything like that today. So we are gonna get right into it really quickly. If you're new here, I share makeup, skincare, and fashion for us mature ladies. If that's something that interest, interests you, if that's something that interests you, please consider clicking that button below and hitting that subscribe button. Also, make sure you click that notification bell too because I don't want you to miss out on any of my future content. Let's get into it. There's some different things you can do. One thing that I want to do right away is I want to use a moisturizer, which is my AKA primer. And I am using my Charlotte Tilbury. I just want to get a tiny bit here. I'm using my, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. So I have a little bit right there. And... So the next step, there's a couple different things that you could do. So one, you could use drops like this. These, I think these are the Celestial drops. Yeah, these are the Celestial drops from Color FX. So you can apply this to your face and then apply your foundation, or you can mix this in with your foundation as well. Another thing you can do is use something like this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Again, you can put this underneath and then you layer on top. Another thing that you can do, and I think I'm gonna do this today, this is by VDL, and it's like a cushion, I don't wanna say primer, but it's going to give you a nice glow. So you squeeze it on this cushion, and you can squeeze it with your finger and it comes out like this. And then you can just highlight certain areas of your face or put all over today. I'm gonna to put it on all over my face. Now you don't want to use a matte foundation. You don't want to do that. So I'm going to use, I'm still going to use my Anastasia because this one is a nice luminous foundation and that's what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that and start blending it out. This would not be a good look to wear under a mask because <laughs> yeah, it's not going to stay on very good under a mask. I normally don't put it on my nose, but today I'm going to put whatever's left on my nose. And the reason that I usually don't put foundation on my nose usually doesn't stay. But I don't want to powder anything today. I want to keep that really nice glow. See how nice it is? And already you can see. The next thing I want to do, I, st I still want to have a little bit of bronzer. I'm going to use this. This is from Daniel Sandler. This is the color Golden Glow. So I'm going to shake it up really good. I'm going to use that. So this has a nice little shimmery sheen to it. And I actually think I want to try using my Beauty Blender to put it on. Just like that. Always want to shake those up really good before you use them. But see how that's really nice and light, but gave me a little bit of a bronzy color, but you still see all that glow underneath. Now I want to go in and I want to use, I think I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use Rose Glow. Put that on the back of my hand. These are so beautiful. I think I will use my brush for this. Tap it off. I just want to get a little, I just want to go light with this. 
The nice thing about these blushes is they do have a little bit of shimmer in, so it works so nice with this look. You see how pretty that is? Look at how my skin is just... It's glowing, girl. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, now I want to go in and I want to use some of this. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight. It's magnificent. I love it. So I want to put a little bit more. See, right up here. And I want to kind of go like that. I'm really lightly tapping this on and blending it. Do you see that? Do the same right here. Now do not put this on the tip of your nose if you have a big nose like I do, or you're just gonna highlight that. You don't wanna do it. I'm gonna put a little bit right up here, and I'm barely putting it on. But I just want that glow all over. You see that? Okay. Last thing I wanna do before I finish the rest of my makeup off camera is I'm gonna take some of this, just use whatever water hydrating spray that you have. I'm gonna use this one. This is the Glow Recipe, and this is the Watermelon Mist. Okay, so I am gonna show you guys close up after I get the rest of my makeup on. Okay, so I'm going to put just a little bit more. We're going to do a little bit more. So I'm just going to take this lunch money. I'm going to take my refer brush. This is my number 20 brush. And I just want to put a little bit more on top of that. I'm going to put a little bit of my chin, too. Okay, so this is my final look. Can you see it? I'm going to get you closer so you can see better. As I said, I have oily skin. I feel like I could do this, but I definitely, this wouldn't be something I would do all the time. But I think if you're going out somewhere special or doing something special eventually in the future, this is just a really fun look. Or you know what, since you're at home playing with makeup, just go for it. Just do, just have fun with makeup. That's what it's all about, right? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. would really appreciate it if you would share it. You can follow me on Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram. I feel like I've been stuck at 12,600 for years. Like I just don't move. So would love you guys to join me over there. I have the links below so you can check it out. Everything that I'm wearing on my face today too, I will have in the description box and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye. And this is from Adam Sandler. It's a comedian. It's a, it's a VDL, it's a, it's, it, I don't remember what this was. It's the, <laughs> because I haven't used this in a while, is I'm going to use this. And this is the VDL, this is the VDL, girl. I forget what this is called. It's just, 